Hi, this is G from NSA. And as you may or may not know, I did a Facebook live session earlier today. And what's great about Facebook Live is that you get to interact in real time with people who are interested in what you do and people who you care about. What's bad about Facebook Live is that you have very little control over the quality and the connectivity there. And what happened during the presentation was that the connectivity dropped a few times and the quality of the connection wasn't good enough to pick up some of the audio. So. I was thinking about it and I don't really want to mirror onto the internet something which is not of good enough quality. So I thought I would recap everything that I did in the Facebook Live session, try to summarize it as quickly as possible, and maybe this can be used as a higher quality version. There's also a question about whether or not things should be pre-recorded before they're uploaded. Uh, or whether you should do them live. There's a certain buzz, a vibration, a good feeling about doing things live, which you don't get if you're pre-recording stuff. You might have noticed if you are watching a TV program that's live or listening to uh, a concert that's live, there, there's an energy there, which you don't get if it's pre-recorded. So. That's one of the things I like about the live sessions. Maybe I will look at um, integrating a more interactive element into the live sessions in the future. But uh, so I back at my flat now, I'm out of the office and um, I've just dug my car out of the snow. It took me about 45 minutes to uh, clear everything there and uh, check that the car engine would actually start because when you get into the minus temperatures depending upon what kind of car you have um, and how old it is you have problems very often starting the engines so what was I talking about this morning this morning I was talking about how to make your week a great week how to give yourself an edge how to push yourself to get to the next level. And I wanted to do this through a little little memory exercise. So if you're gonna if you are going to have a great day, a great week, let's break that down into the, the letters G R E A T. The G is for give. To give before you take, to give somebody a helping hand, to give somebody a lift. It can be opening a door, it can be anything for anyone in your environment. Um, it can be getting information for somebody that will help them. It can be sharing something with somebody. Not giving to create an obligation, not giving because you want something back from somebody, just giving. Just giving without the expectation of getting anything back at all. Just for the sake of the fact that you can. So that's the G. The R of great is respond. To respond and not react. So over the next week, perhaps you'd like to think about how you respond. What your response is. Because that then develops into your responsibility, responsibility. I want you to think first, think first. Now, how do you do that? You pause, you breathe, you repeat what another person has said and you clarify that you understand what they have said. So very often, I'm sure we're all surrounded at times by people who say exactly what they think without thinking. Can you say what you think without thinking? Well, it just comes out, doesn't it? And some of these thoughts and observations are perhaps best left unsaid. Although I'm a great believer that 
you should tell people exactly what you think. Hmm. Maybe. Right. The great week. The E. The E is for eat. <laughs> eat consciously. Be aware. We all know that you are what you eat. Food is your medicine. And by this I mean thinking about consuming less sugar and perhaps more roots. Uh, I'm reminded of the uh, song that I was listening to earlier. Um, you have to grow roots before you can grow branches. I think there's a lot that we can get out of contemplating that idea. Um, I also gave a little story this morning about the um, local fruit and vegetable shop. Not going to go there. Each presentation is slightly different. Um, a great week. The A is for ask. Ask people around about you if they need anything. Is there anyone around you that you can help? Either face to face or you can send them a Facebook message, you can call them. Why don't you call someone and ask them how they are? Why don't you call some member of your family and just say, hi, I'm just calling just because, just because, just because. Just want to say, how are you? What's new? <laughs> That's a great question. It's one of my favorite questions. What's new? Such an open question. Don't assume that um, everything is okay, even when people say that it's okay. People are often very afraid to share their problems, share their feelings. On the other hand, some people just explode with problems and tell you everything. Um, but there are people who bottle things up inside. So I guarantee you everybody has issues, everybody has problems, everybody has fights in their life that they have to struggle to get through, to get to the other side, and you can't do it alone. Um, so ask someone if they need anything. Remember what goes around comes around as well. And the T of great is time. Measure what you're doing. Measure gives us an understanding. It gives us a a point of reference. So by this I'm thinking about how you time yourself with the activities you do. Think about how long will it take, you know, project, how you envision it in the future. Think about how long something is taking in the present moment. How long is it taking now? And think about think about giving yourself some feedback after the activity. How long how long did it take? Did it live up to your your expectations and so if we follow these g-r-e-a-t the great principles you know when things are great basically life is good so keep them in mind just to just to review the g is give before you take the r is respond and don't react the e is to eat consciously the A is to ask the people around you if there's anything that you can do for them. And the T is time yourself. Be aware of the processes that are happening there. So, if you don't know, my name is G. I am the founder and director at NSA, and we're based in Slovakia. We are an academy for language therapy and life coaching. And as I said this morning, somebody asked me this week, they said, well, what is language therapy? Well, language therapy basically is where you study and analyze the words, the language that people use to help them better their opportunities in life, to understand why they make the choices that they make. It's very hard to see into the brain. One of the few ways that we can understand people is to understand the language that comes out, which is controlled by the brain. 
There's only two ways to understand people, basically. It's through the language that they use and through the actions that they do within their life. And um, from that, we can begin to build up a picture of why we do what we do and the motivations and the, the elements that are important to us and how we can make subtle little changes in our lives to guide ourselves in a better direction. In essence, hopefully, to make us healthier, happier, and more productive. So, the website is nsa-slovakia.com. It's almost finished. The new version is almost finished. It's 99%. They have just a few reduction videos to record. And um, there's lots of free sessions that you can tune into there and pick up information from. Use it and abuse it. Or you will lose it. There we go. Uh, thanks very much for paying attention. Um, if you'd like to, if you've got any, in fact, if you've got any questions that you'd like me to tackle, if you'd like some guidance, some perspective, you send me an email or write on the Facebook page. Um, three Facebook pages: my page, Graham William Hendry, that's me. Uh, the original page for the school, Native Speakers Academy, that's what NSA is and the private coaching group, which is the Academy for Language Therapy and Life Coaching. So wherever you are, have a fantastic day. Put some energy into it, because what you give out, you get back. Respect to you all.